What up, YouTube? P-H-A-T, Fat Outdoors here. Um, we're headed today to Lake Minden, do a little catfishing, I guess. Um, this is a local lake that's right in my backyard. It's part of a thousand trails network. Um, I got a membership because it, it cost me 22 bucks to go fishing there. Um, 12 for parking, 10 for fishing. Um, I went there, a lot of folks from Sacramento were coming up here into my area and they were using a thousand trails membership and it cost six bucks to go fishing. They stock it with catfish, they stock it with bass. There's crappie out there, um, bluegill. So we're just gonna go see what we can hook up on. Um, might do a thousand trails um, review of the campground later on this afternoon, but um, hope you, you enjoy the video. That's about all I can say. Hope you enjoy the video. I'm stammering over my words again. I don't do this YouTube, but we gonna have a lot of fun today. All right, see you when we get to Lake Menden. All right, so here we are at Lake Minden. First thing I gotta do is I gotta go pay my six bucks so I can register and get out of the lake. And then um, we'll get out there, see if we can get on some catfish, some crappie, maybe a bluegill or two. Hope you guys enjoy it. So this is it, Lake Minden. It's where I usually walk out to. This little point out here. If this ain't working, we'll head over to the other side and try and see what we can hook up on over there. It's that brother getting tired and windy already. I'm trying to get my Fitbit steps in. Well, right now I'm walking back to the car. Um, just talked to one of the groundskeepers. I've been parking way out here in the parking lot and lugging all my stuff out. And he tells me I can pull my car right up to the picnic table where I've been fishing. So, you know, fat outdoors. I can get save a couple steps. I'm going to get my car. That's it. We live now. I can park right up front. Lazy. No, I got my Fitbit getting my steps. But hey, if I could not have to lug all that junk ice chest and everything this far, you bet I'm gonna do it. All right, see you in a bit. Hey, thank you, really appreciate it. Yeah, I know, right? There you go. Thank you, boss. Yeah, so here we are. Check it out, man. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Not out more. GoPro. All right, how's that? Awesome. All right, so here we are. Lake Minden, I'm getting ready to cast out a cook sand. All right, here we are. Why do I keep introducing the video instead of just going ahead and talk about what I'm gonna talk about? Well, what I'm talking about right now is, um, you know I've been using this uh, CJ's Monster Bait. I love it. It's, it's excellent bait, um, stick bait. Um, just dig it in, it's a fiber bait. So you should have to commonly use treble hooks with it. But what I done, I saw a video from a dude and it shows you how to fish with a circle hook on stink bait. So I thought that was pretty awesome. So I made these little balls, I don't know if you can see them. They're CJ's Monster Bait wrapped up in here, but it's Atlas Mike's, um, uh, I can't even think of the name of the cloth. I'll show the cloth, I'll put it in the comments so that you guys know what it is. But um, just wrap up these little balls, they fit on a circle hook. Guess what? You sit, chill out, they enjoy yourself a Bud Light, and they hook themselves. So that's what we're doing. Let me show you my new ugly stick. My new ugly stick that I got. Um, it is the, the GX2. Uh, it's, it's a six and a half foot. Um, got it tied up with some 15 pound 
monofilament. You know how the brothers are. We like to leave the labels and the stickers on everything on our hats and, and whatnot. So I left the label on my handle and I got it set up. It's kind of like a Carolina rig, but it's Santee Cooper. Um, got a little slip bobber there. And um, yeah, we're gonna cast off and see what we get. All right, so hopefully this is in frame. Um, got my little three-off circle hook. You can see it's tied off again to um, a little float bobber. Then I got my barrel swivel that's tied off here and my little bead. Got a little one ounce, one and a half ounce um, no roll sinker. Forgot my gloves, which is really stupid when handling stink bait. But um, here's what we're looking at. This is that little ball tied off with a little elastic, elastic or whatnot. And then basically, you just hook it like that, leave enough for your hook exposed so they, they can get it. And that's basically what we're doing. Throwing that out, see what happens. This is it, this is the first real cast. All right, so checking out the new spot. Got my pole in the water. Again, got some of that CJ's Monster. Uh, the wind is, is horrible, it's muddy. Um, I haven't got a bite yet. I think I got one bite today, but uh, that's about it. So I'm gonna sit here, um, fish a little bit more, have a little lunch, wait for my grandson. I got a new grandson. Let's talk about Lulo. I got Luis Lorenzo, new grandson, six days old. Um, Truly a blessing. Yeah, so I'm excited to be the papa. That's me, the papa. I'm gonna take my boy fishing. Um, yeah, so Lulo, let me hook one for you, boy. I'm doing this meal prep thing and got some little quinoa and pretty good. I got some grilled chicken with asparagus, sun-dried tomatoes, and um, artichoke hearts. It's good stuff. I'm enjoying this little meal prep thing. Always have a little bit of food with me. And you, you know what, I, I've lost 20 pounds. So, hey, here goes the meal prep. I'm still PHAT pretty hot and tempting, but 20 pounds lighter, that just means more gear on the kayak. So, that works for me. Yeah, yeah let, me, let me get you a little shot of what I'm eating on. Now watch, I'm gonna get a bite or something. But here's what I'm eating on, a little meal prep. This is catfishing. Kinda lazy. I could dig that. Quinoa. Good. What's funny about this fit packer, this meal pack, it really fills me up. I used to have to be eating constantly. My daddy used to say, boy, why are you always in the kitchen with your elbow bent? <laughs> so, trying to see if I can, see if I can get them in the frame, what? Yeah, they're stocking it right now. Now I gotta come back tomorrow. All right, so I'm gonna try and change up my presentation a little bit. I've been using those dough balls in the Atlas mics. Um, no, I still can't remember the name. But anyway, I'm gonna try and use some of this monster bait on a treble hook. Maybe it's that the circle hook was too small for the little dough balls that I had. See if that's what the problem is. But try some of this punch bait. Nice thing about CJ's being a fiber bait, is you don't have to touch it. You don't gotta get your hands dirty. You just punch that monster in there, punch that treble hook into the bait, pull it out of the angle, and then you got you a really nice um, ball of bait. I got me a little slip cork set up. That's what I'm using. Slip cork with the leader, and we'll see what 
happens with this. All right. Try and give it a cast. Ah, oh, that wind. I can't even get my cork out there. That wind is brutal. My cork ain't no more than like two, three feet out. I ain't doing nothing. All this slack line. Alright, so here we are um, back on the other side now. I, I know what you're thinking. I, I, I know. They just stocked the lake. Yeah, the, the fish are probably drunk. They probably sleep. But desperate times call for desperate measures. I only got a few more minutes to be out here. Maybe about another hour and I'm going to see my grandbaby. So um, I, I'm throwing some CJ's monster bait right here. See if we can get on. If we can't get on, we'll just call it a day. He's hooked. Now make sure he don't jig me. There we go. We got him. Nice little channel cat. Look at him. Nice little channel cat. That's what we got. He about to bork. <laughs> he about to bork. Let's see. catch my little limit I'm trying to get three of them there he is that's for the GoPro that's for the video you can see him how you doing sir how you doing? yeah I'm doing all right now it took me a minute but at least I got the skunk out the lake yeah it's CJ's Hunt monster bait. Let me show you what I do. Put it on a circle hook. It's basically punch bait, but it's made for a treble hook. Okay, so it's, yeah, but what I do, yeah, but what I do is I put it into little bags, pouches, and then put it on the end of a circle hook, and then they hook them. Wad it up and then wrap a little bag around Yeah, yeah, and then that way I don't lose my bait. They get it pretty good. There's a, uh, another older gentleman that's here quite a bit. Uh-huh. Uh, he uses hot dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of folks use hot dog, jello, all kinds of stuff. Yeah. 
Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I'm gonna eat him. If he's on my hook, he gonna cook. That's for sure. <laughs> That's it, that's it. They ought to be hungry after the long story. Yeah, I know, that's what I'm hoping. They would, they're right over here, I wasn't getting any bites, and over here, they've been biting for the last 45 minutes or so. There he is, he's right there. He's getting ready to get on. Just hit it hard. One time. Oh, he gone. Nope, he's still there. There he is. There he is. He on there. I think he on there now. He on there? Yep. He on there. He on there. Got us another one. I think. He might not be on there. No, that's my weight. Let's see. Not taking any drag. That's not a fish. Ah. We got us another channel cat right there. He barking. Bark, bark for the people. Bark for the people. P H A T. Well, not bad for today. I got two. Here's from Fat Outdoors, Lake Minden. Had a good time. Yeah, about to pack it up. <laughs>